Health Minister and advisor to Sambawang GRC, Kobun Wan, visited the Masling constituency for the first time after the new electoral boundaries were announced in February. He met residents around Woodland Street 31 and Woodlands Neighbourhood 3 Town Centre. Mr. Kaur remained tight-lipped about who will be contesting in Sambawang and the newly formed Nisun GRC. However, he highlighted some of his future plans for the GRC should he lead the team. The housing board program is what is called HIP, uh, Home Improvement Program, HIP. HIP will be a big program for the whole of Singapore, for all estates, particularly, say, Yisun, uh, uh, Marceling, because these are coming to of an age. And HIP will be a program that will last... Uh, at least two terms, you know, if not more. Sambawang Park needs to be refreshed, so we will do that. Cycling tracks, we will add more. There are a lot of cyclists in, in the north. Party as a whole, it is still good paying jobs for Singaporeans. And as health minister, looking after people's health. So you have heard my, my program. That really is my health manifesto for the next five years. And we have a heavy program on our agenda and we will deliver it. Sambawang GRC has been downsized under the new electoral map from a six to a five-member constituency. The new GRC now consists of four wards, which are Admiralty, Marsling, Sambawang and Woodlands. A new five-member constituency, Nisun GRC, has also been carved out. But Mr. Kaur said that the changes in the electoral boundaries would not have a significant impact on his team's overall performance. It does not affect much purely because uh, the changes are within our expectations. So in fact, in our planning, even uh, two months ago, we have already uh, formulated such a scenario, and then we, we have restructured our committee, assuming such a change. So it was totally within expectation. But of course, we have worked together for five years, and uh, we will miss them. In fact, we have already missed them. Uh, it's because uh, together... It was a very strong team. Along with Mr. Kaur, fellow Sambawang MPs Hawazi Daipi, Dr. Maliki Osman and Ellen Lee were in the neighbourhood interacting with the residents. Two new faces were also spotted at the walkabout. 32-year-old lawyer Vikram Nair and 34-year-old commodities trader Ong Teng Kun. I've been here involved in grassroots activities for the past two years. Um, in 2009, I started in Mr. K. Shamugam's uh, constituency. And last year, around September, I came to... Uh, to Marsling to help Mr. Hawazi, and I've been involved in grassroots work. Um, I like helping residents, and I hope to be able to serve them uh, in the future. I really like this constituency, actually. I mean, I started off at Chongfang. I was there for about three years, uh, worked a lot with Mr. Shanmugam. Then the last uh, well, month and a half or so, I've been with Dr. Maliki at Admiralty. And I think the one thing I really like about this ward is, you know, I think the MPs work very hard, the residents are very warm, very welcoming. And I, I think, you know, that sort of builds on itself. So, you know, the more support you have, the more you feel like going all out. The newly formed Sambawang GRC is home to 142,426 voters. In the 2006 general elections, the GRC was contested by the Singapore Democratic Party. The PAB team, led by Mr. Kaur, won with a thumping 76.7% of the votes, the highest of all constituencies. This time round, no opposition party has expressed interest in contesting Sambawang. But Mr. Kaur hopes that will change. I fully expect every seat to be contested. And I think that's good for everybody all around, right? both PAP, the opposition parties, as well as voters. Voters want, always wanted the opportunity to express their personal wishes. Yeah.